Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I'm here with another series um, for my channel, and I'm going to call it Kasich Card Tuesday. I um, struggle with cards, so um, they're just hard for me to think. Nothing looks right to me, and it just doesn't... Eh. So I always end up going to like my base card, like I know that this works and I just changed the pattern, the paper up or whatever, but I have been, um, I subscribed to a magazine and I subscribed to a couple of websites and of course now I'm looking around on Pinterest for card inspiration. So I like the idea of casing, which is copy and selectively edit. So I'm going to case it card doo -doo, Tuesday and I'm going to upload a video on Tuesdays with the cards so um, I'll be making them and showing them to you I won't be showing you how I make them nine times out of ten but I will provide the picture of the card that I cased and or a link to the blog or magazine or online website where I found the card it because maybe there are some other card strugglers that um, this might be helpful to so this first edition um, oh, before I say that, the car, this, these videos will be five minutes. I'm going to try, try to make them five minutes or less because it's just going to be a quick in and out. The car to already be done. This is what I copied it from. Here's where you can find the original and other cars like it and then keep it moving. So you don't have to sit through a long me talking through everything. So, um, this is, so this is the card. I got the card off of Pinterest and I will, um, Put the link below to where I found the card and then if you would like to follow me on Pinterest I'll also put that in the description box and then my blog will be in the description box this is an informative video so it may be it's not how all the rest of the videos will be because I'm just gonna be in and out like I said but I'm just trying to get all the information knocked out first video done so um, the card will be the video will be five minutes or less I'll show you either a picture or a link will be in the description box and then just for your information if you're interested you can follow me on Pinterest and my blog will be below so um, check the description box for the link for who I copied this awesome card from and here is my case it it's so cute I love it um, a, I love it that whitewash job on this is awesome if I do say so myself pat on the back this is a six by six crisscross card and um, what I did was a white cardstock base, and then I used Marion Smith's, a page from Marion Smith's um, download garment district, and then I whitewashed all, I stitched first with um, pink zigzag stitching all around the card, and then I whitewashed the entire card, and then went, whitewashing is just acrylic paint or gesso around your project and then going over it with um I use baby wipes around it and kind of pushing it in and mellowing it out so it's like a washed over effect so I love the whitewash on here very cute and then I use my silhouette cameo for these little cutout it looks like the Martha Stewart punch those paper punches I love it I'm so happy with it and then I also use my cameo for this 3d flower that I crumpled up and spritzed with my homemade um shimmer mist and then I used a flat back pearl and a ribbon buckle I painted some uh, cream seam binding in the tattered angels chalkboard um, ink and cotton candy I also used some burlap that I went over with um, white acrylic paint and then I had a little piece of lace on my stash or just on my desk that I threw in there and then I also had a rest of a bling that I threw around the edges of this as I'm sitting as I was sitting here getting ready to do the video I saw this little piece of bling so I decided to add that and that kind of finished off my card this is the insert that I'll be able to write my message I think I'm gonna put a big stamp here a uh, big stamp sentiment and then I'm gonna write on the inside so here's the back base of the card see the whitewash on there so very cute love that zigzag stitching up there if you can't see backed everything up with um, some more white paper so it can be a little sturdy and distressed all of the edges with my Tempo's distressing tool. That's the back. So there we go. I will have a picture for you um, at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys like it and thank you. Have a great day. Bye.